Hello students, we are doing chapter number 10 triangles, exercise 10.3. In previous video till question number 4 we have done and now we are starting from question number 5 first part. Triangle is given here. This angle is given 48 degree. These two sides are equal. This is given x and we have to find out the value of x. So first we will start with this triangle ABD because we have more information in this triangle. So in triangle ABD because BD is equal to AD these two sides are equal so we can say angle ABD is equal to angle BAD this angle and this angle will be same so this angle will be equal to 48 degree. Now we can find out this exterior angle by exterior angle property angle ADC is equal to sum of opposite interior two angles. So these two are the opposite interior angle this is also 48 this is also 48. So this angle is equal to 96 degree. Now in this triangle because these two sides are equal because AD is equal to DC so we can say angle DAC is equal to angle DCA this angle and this angle will be equal so this also we can take as x degree because it is given x. Now in this triangle we can use angle sum property in triangle ADC by angle sum property. Sum of all three angles means x plus x plus 96. This is equal to 180 degree. So x plus x will become 2x and 96 we can shift another side. It will go for subtraction. So 2x is equal to 84 degree. x value will be 84 divided by 2 equal to 42 degree. Next fifth question second part figure is given here and we have to find out the value of x here. So 130 degree angle is given here so we will start from this side only. Now in this triangle ADC this at this point C this angle and this angle are at straight line. So we can use here linear angle property therefore by linear angles property. angle ACD means this angle plus 130 degree this is equal to 180 degree. So value of angle ACD is equal to 180 minus 130 equal to 50 degree. See we got here this is 50 degree. Now because these two sides are equal because AD is equal to DC so we can say angle DAC is equal to angle DCA. This angle and this angle will be same. So this angle also will be 50 degree. Now we will find out this angle. This is the exterior angle for this triangle. So this exterior angle will be the sum of opposite to interior angle. So by exterior angle property angle ADB is equal to 50 plus 50 equal to 100 degree. So we got here this is equal to 100 degree. Now in triangle ABD because AD is equal to BD it is given in the question these two sides are equal. So we can say angle ABD is equal to angle BDA. This angle and this angle will be same. So both will be equal to x. Now again we can use angle sum property here to find out the value of x. Therefore by angle sum property
x plus x plus 100 is equal to 180 degree. x plus x will become 2x and 100 you can shift to another side. 2x is equal to 80 degree. So, x value will be 80 divided by 2 is equal to 40 degree. Next question number 5th third part. We have to find out the value of x here. This is the combination of two triangle. Here this x is given total this here to here. This angle is given 56 and here nothing else is given. So, we will start from here. So, in triangle ADC because AC is equal to DC. It is given in the question. So, angle DAC is equal to angle DCA. This angle here to here and this angle here to here it will be equal. So, we can take here any alphabet suppose it is A. So, this one also will be A. Now, we can use angle sum property here. Therefore, by angle sum property A plus A plus 56 is equal to 180 degree. A plus A will become 2A and 56 we can shift another side for subtraction. So, 2A we will get 124 degree. So, A value will be 124 by 2 equal to 62 degree. So, we got this angle is 62. This is also 62. Now, we can find out this angle here. Angle ADB is equal to 180 minus 62. This is 62 and this is at the line straight line. So, linear pair angle property we can use here. Linear pair angles. So, this we will get 180 minus 62 is equal to 118 degree. Now, in triangle ABD because AD is equal to BD. It is given here. These two are same. So, we can write angle BAD is equal to angle BDA. Means this angle here to here and this angle will be equal. So, we can give it some name suppose B. So, again we can use here angle sum property in this triangle. Therefore, by angle sum property, B plus B plus 118 is equal to 180 degree. So, B plus B will become 280 and 118 we can shift another side. So, 2B is equal to 62. So, B value will be 62 divided by 2 equal to 31 degree. So, we got A value and B value. So, in figure if you see X is the sum of A and B. So, X is equal to A plus B. A we got 162 degree and B we got 31 degree. So, this total will be 93 degree. Next we have question number 6 first part in the given figure if AB is equal to AD and BC is equal to DC then we have to find out the angle ABC means these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal we have to find out this angle. So to find out this angle I have joined B to D and suppose this angle is Y and this is X here to here it is X this is Y. Now if we see this triangle ABD in triangle ABD because AB is equal to AD so we can say angle ABD is equal to angle ADB both angle we can take as X now we will use angle sum property in this triangle by angle sum property x plus x plus 54 the sum of all three angles will be equal to 180 degree 
so x plus x will become 2x and 54 we can shift another side and we can subtract it so 2x is equal to 126 degree so x value we will get 126 degree by 2 63 degree now same thing we will do in triangle bcd also in triangle bcd because bc is equal to cd so angle cbd is equal to angle cdb both we can take as y so by angle sum property y plus y plus 116 is equal to 180 degree y plus y will become 2y and 116 we can shift another side it will go for subtraction so 2y is equal to 64 so y will be 64 divided by 2 32 degree so angle abc is x plus y x plus y x we got 63 and y we got 32 is equal to 95 degree question number sixth b part in the given figure if bc is equal to cd these two sides are equal then we have to find out angle a c b so first we will focus on this triangle here 138 is given we can find out this angle with the help of this so angle DAC is equal to 180 minus 138. Here we are using linear pair angles. And this we will get 42 degree. So this angle is 42 degree. Now we will use angle sum property in this triangle and we will find out this angle. So, in triangle ACD by angle sum property, forty two plus hundred and sixteen plus angle ACD means this angle is equal to one eighty degree. So, forty two and hundred and sixteen will become one fifty eight plus angle ACD is equal to 180 degree so angle ACD is equal to 180 minus 158 we will get 22 degree so this angle we got 22 degree now we will focus on this triangle first we will find out this angle in triangle BCD angle BDC is equal to 180 minus 116 because it is on a straight line so linear pair angle property we can use and this we will get 64 degree so this is 64 degree this angle also will be 64 because these two sides are equal so because bc is equal to cd therefore angle cbd is equal to angle cdb which is equal to 64 degree so these two angles are same 64 degree 64 degree now this third angle we can find out with the help of angle sum property by angle sum property sixty-four plus sixty-four plus angle BCD means this angle here to here this is equal to 180 degree it will become 128 plus angle bcd is equal to 180 degree so angle bcd is equal to 180 minus 128 we will get 52 degree so we have to find out angle acp this angle this total angle so the here to here it is 52 and here 22 so acb will, will be the sum of these two angles 52 plus 22 is equal to 74 degree next we have question number six the c part in the given figure 
ए बी इज पैरल टू सी डी दीज टू लाइन्स आर पैरल दैन एंगल ए सी ए इज इक्वल टू सी ई दीज टू साइड्स आर इक्वल ए सी इज सेवेंटी फोर हियर टू हियर इट इज सेवेंटी फोर एंड दिस इज फिफ्टीन डिग्री वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू फॉर एक्स एंड वाई सो फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विद दिस ट्राइंगल बिकॉज वी हैव मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन हियर वी हैव गिव दिस एंगल इज गिवन सेवेंटी फोर डिग्री दीज टू वी विल फाइंड आउट सो लेट दिस इज ए एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो ए बिकॉज दीज टू साइड्स आर इक्वल सो इन ट्राइंगल ए सी ई बिकॉज ए सी इज इक्वल टू सी ई सो वी कैन से एंगल सी ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी ई ए एंड बोथ वी कैन टेक एज ए नाउ विल यूज एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी हियर बाय एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी सम ऑफ दीज टू थ्री एंगल्स विल बी वन एटी डिग्री ए प्लस ए प्लस सेवेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्री टू ए इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी माइनस सेवेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स डिग्री सो ए वैल्यू विल बी हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू फिफ्टी थ्री डिग्री आफ्टर गेटिंग दिस ए वैल्यू वी कैन फाइंड आउट द एक्स बिकॉज ए एंड एक्स आर लीनियर पेयर एंगल बाय लीनियर पेयर एंगल्स ए प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी डिग्री ए वी नो फिफ्टी थ्री डिग्री एंड एक्स वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी माइनस फिफ्टी थ्री वन एटी माइनस फिफ्टी थ्री विल गेट वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री नाउ इन ट्राइंगल ए ई बी वी वी गॉट दिस वी हैव एंड दिस वी हैव फाइंड आउट सो दिस एंगल बी वी कैन फाइंड आउट तो इन ट्राइंगल ए बी ई By angle sum property, angle BAE plus angle ABE plus angle AEB equal to one eighty degree. So BAE is fifteen degree. A B E we don't know we will write as it is and this third one is X one hundred and twenty seven degree total equal to one eighty degree so for fifteen plus one twenty seven A B E equal this will become one forty two equal to one eighty degree so angle A B E is equal to one eighty माइनस वन फोर्टी टू एंगल ए बी ई इज इक्वल टू थर्टी एट डिग्री नाउ बिकॉज दीज टू लाइन्स आर पैरल लाइन सो दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल विल बी ऑल्टरनेट एंगल सो वी कैन से वाई इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए बी ई इक्वल टू थर्टी एट डिग्री एंड रीजन इज ऑल्टरनेट एंगल्स so we got here x value is 127 degree and y value is 38 degree so in this video we are doing till here remaining questions will continue in the next video thank you for watching this video